Welcome to Cool Toys. I'm your host, Scott Berkwin. And I don't know about you, but I am ready for a real no mask hit the road summer. We've got a lot to talk about today, and I'm very excited. When it comes to the outdoors, there are a lot of cool toys out there. Don't worry, today isn't all about Jeeps and hitting the trails. If you've got an SUV, or a sports wagon, or even just a regular car, you can hit the road with your own cool toys. Before we get started, I have some housekeeping and news for you. One of the things that we do here at Cool Toys is auction off all the stuff we buy for the show, or things that people send in for us to review. And then we donate that money to charity. You don't want to miss out on this, so make sure you subscribe to our channel and go to CoolToysTV.com and get on our email list so you don't miss out. For the news, Doc Josh sold the hot rod after months of work, almost a year, to get it to stop marking its spot in the garage, he sold it. And that leads to my soapbox for the day. Right now we have a big problem in this country. We stopped respecting each other. If you aren't on my team, I don't respect you, is the new attitude. But that isn't really the respect I'm talking about. Just before selling the hot rod, Josh disrespected the front of my house. I mean, look at this mess. That stupid one-legged hot rod dug a hole in the pavement with one tire. I felt like the late, great Rodney Dangerfield. Hey, I get no respect. So, no respect, and that's where it goes. Well, now that you're up to date with what's going on here in the cool toys world, let's talk about getting out for summer. A while ago, we got a right line tailgating tent. Now this tent gets the Cool Toys approved stamp because it works with almost any car and you can move it around your car or your SUV to put it where you need it. You aren't stuck with only one attachment or direction like the other brands. The best thing about summer though is cooking out. I mean, aren't Labor Day and Memorial Day like National Grilling Days? Grilling is the perfect way to begin and end the summer, isn't it? Oh yeah. And that reminds me, if you are hitting the road, you might want to consider your drinking options. If you go back a few episodes, I tried six NA or no alcohol beers and a couple were pretty good. I also discovered a couple of interesting drinks from Escape Mocktails and this slightly overpriced tequila alternative from Ritual. It makes a passable margarita if you've got some good lime juice and agave around. I think we can all agree there isn't much that beats a great grilled meal. If you have some backstrap from the freezer from last year's hunt, well, the grill is the perfect finish, right? Even if you are going full blue zone vegan, how good is grilled corn with tahini spice or grilled tahini with mushrooms and a little chipotle sauce? Remember, if the guy grilling next to you is a little different, eh, just stop and respect the grill. Let's not have any meaty meat guy versus vegan fights at the beach while we're all grilling, okay? Now, one of the discussions we have here all the time is about the choice of charcoal or gas or wood when it comes to grilling. It's the same thing we talk about all the time when it comes to pizza. Now I like wood, but if you have kids, waiting the hour and two beers to heat up the oven may not be something you have time for. That gives you gas. Recently I decided to take this question to the beach and to my surf tribe and do some grilling. I took a Coleman gas portable grill and this Hero charcoal grill. I was a bit surprised. I cooked 10 pounds of chicken wings on the Little Hero Grill and decided to make pizza on the gas grill using a pizza stone. Now as you can see in the video, my round stone doesn't fit in the grill, so the temperature was a little hard to control. 
if you want to try this, I would say buy the square stone that fits a barbecue. Remember, if you want to know what is happening here at Cool Toys, subscribe to the channel, find us on Instagram, and get on our email list. You might get to hang out and have some free food, like chicken wings that I grilled at the beach. Now, the Coleman Grill goes all day on one little tank of propane. A six pack of them is usually under 50 bucks. That means you can grill all summer on the road for about 50 bucks. We found our grill at a big store on sale for $99 at the end of last season. So we always look for a good deal, you know, at the end of the season is a good time to buy a grill. Now the Hero is different. It uses little charcoal briquettes and it burns for about an hour, which is enough time to cook. When we first got it, we had to pay another 20 bucks for a refill pack to get another hour of grilling. That was a bit pricey, so we weren't 100% impressed yet. Then the two pack like this came out. This is about 33 bucks, so it was a little better. But even though it was a little better, the trays are cardboard, which you think would burn. But the pumice is a great insulator. It also is all natural and biodegradable. So with that in mind, please respect your grill spot and still take it with you. That's your leave no trace message from us here at Cool Toys. Now, Hero Grills got smart. They started selling eight packs of these little refills for about 25 bucks. That made it a lot more affordable. This got the cost per grilling under four bucks, something I can live with. If you keep that pumice frame, use the tray, you only buy those cheap little refill packs to keep grilling. That's a good deal. The cool part with charcoal is the drippings of the meat or the olive oil, if you're cooking vegetables, drip onto the charcoal and burn off. So the olive oil, the fat, drips down onto the coals and burns off. With the Coleman, there's this little nasty tray underneath and in this nasty grease tray, all this stuff builds up. And if you forget to clean it, it will spill out on you or in your car and it will leave a big mess. Overall, I like the Coleman, but it isn't kind of a going on the road grilling thing. It will likely stay here at the studio and we'll use it for outdoor barbecues with the staff and that kind of thing. But lunches outside with the crew are about as far as it's gonna go. The verdict is in. The Cool Toys approved stamp goes to the Hero Grill. It's small, it's light, it works anywhere if you have a good cigar torch style lighter, that is. Oh yeah, add one of those to that little case. It's pretty cool, but you might have to be eating t steak tartare style because look how we had to light it. Anyway, that's it for now. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, follow us, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching and have a great summer of grilling.